$250,000. Let me see. First the money. You don't see a thing until I count the cash. It's all here. $250,000? In small bills, just like you ordered. Come on, Harry, let's get on with it. This is a public place. It's, uh, quiet enough. Hey, what's the big idea? Put that gun away, Harry. We have a deal. It's never too late to improve your bargaining position, Marty. Now listen, we've been doing business together for a long time. Who else are you going to get to buy those stolen bonds? The world is full of businessmen. But who's going to pay you 20% on the dollar? Please, Harry, don't! So long, Marty. Oh, police officer! Where did she come from? Halls, Hall or I'll shoot! Caught it by a lady cop. Freeze, mister! You won't take me! Harry! Harry, what are you... Seven six three, car seven six three. This is seven six three central. Go ahead. Seven six three, officer down in the alleyway at Perry and Tenth. Car seven sixty three, central K. Hello, Lieutenant. It's a nasty one. Hi, Crocker. Who's our man? It's a policewoman. Who? Detective Mary Bryant. She's assigned to headquarters. Well, what happened? She was shot in the alley. Took two in the shoulder. Must have been pretty close range. Is she going to make it? It's touch and go, Lieutenant. The patrol officers didn't bother to wait for an ambulance. They drove her in right away. I'm waiting for a report from the hospital. I suppose this is all related to our dead friend on the sidewalk. It seems that way. <laughs> you want to be a detective, you know that? Who is he? Identification on the body says he's Marty Fingers. You don't say. Do you know him? He's the money man for the stocks and bonds racket. I've been trying to lay my hands on him for years. Looks like someone else found him first. And I think I know who. I want you and Sapistine to locate, only locate, a second-story man by the name of Harry Creeksfield. He and Marty were pals. Tell Stavros to check all reports of stolen bonds, treasury notes, you know, the whole Megillah, over the past two months. Oh, and pull Mary Bryant's package from personnel. Right, Lieutenant. I'll be at the hospital. Is that you, Harry? Yeah. Hurry and open up. Oh, Harry, I was so worried about you. Are you okay? Sitting on top of the world, honey. The next plane to Rio is going to have the both of us in first class. Oh, Harry. Are we really going this time? Nothing else to do? No loose ends? All wrapped up. Come here. Hmm, nice kiss. What's this? What? In your pocket, that bulge. Stay out of my pocket. Harry, it feels like a gun. It's a water pistol. No, I can feel it's metal. Harry, let me see it. It's none of your business, Jean. It is real. Did you use it? I told you to mind your own business. Harry, I want to know about the gun. You never carried one before. Why are you complaining? I've always given you a piece of the action. I don't want to be cut in for murder. Who said anything about murder? You see me with a gun and right away you have me bumping people off. Let me see the gun, Harry. I want to see if it's been fired. Since when are you a gun expert? Why did you need the gun, Harry? Did you kill someone, Harry? Did you? Nobody. Oh, no. Not Marty. No, Harry, not Marty. I couldn't sell him the bonds. What do you mean you couldn't sell him the bonds? Who else are you going to sell them to? I'm not selling them. Are you crazy? That's hot stuff. Where else can you unload that paper for 20% of the face value? In South America. Well, what about the cash? Oh, Marty paid. Then you did kill him. We'll be rich forever. No, not with me. There's honor in this world, Harry. Even among people like us. Marty was our best friend. How could I ever trust you again? I guess you can't. I'm going out, Harry. Give me my cut right now. After I do all the work, you get nothing, baby. Then I'm going to the cops. I warn you, Harry. I'll tell them everything. You'll tell them nothing. No! Dr. Crowley to emergency. Dr. Robinson, call extension 49. Dr. McDonald to maternity. Theo, over here. 
Why, Captain McNeil, out making your rounds? I hate these hospitals. I hate having to wait for status reports on wounded officers. What's the word? Yeah, it's not as serious as they first thought. She took one to the shoulder and the other creased her arm. Theo, what in the world was she doing in that alley? I don't know, Frank. As a matter of fact, there's a lot I don't know about this shooting that bothers me. Like what, for instance? Like a dead Marty Fingers, for one, Frank. These guys are the peaceful end of the business. They never carry guns. These are the white collar boys. You know, everything clean as a whistle. Maybe got knocked off by a mugger. No way, Frank. What makes you so sure? She does. Mary Bryant? Yeah. What could she have to do with this? She's a cop, Frank. She was in the right place at the wrong time. Now, she must have seen the first shooting and then gone after the gunman. I don't follow any of this, Theo. Don't you see? She had the payoff staked out from the very beginning, alone. And that's the first violation of department regulation. Second, she corners a man with a gun, has him in her sights, and he manages to squeeze off two shots at us. What's so unusual about that, Theo? It happens. Lieutenant Kojak, come to the phone. Lieutenant Kojak, please come to the phone. It's over there at the nurse's station. This is Lieutenant Kojak. Lieutenant, this is Crocker. Well, what have you got? A bundle, Lieutenant. We got an address on Creeksfield from Records. Turned out to be his girlfriend's apartment, a Jean Lewis. Check it out. We did. The Lewis girl is dead. Same as fingers. Shot at close range. The place was a mess. But we found a receipt from a travel agency. Two seats on a Translatin Airlines to Brazil for tonight at 11 p.m. It's 10.15 now. Call airport security and alert them. Then you meet me at Kennedy. Lieutenant, there's one more thing. Out with it, Bobby. We pulled Mary Bryant's package from personnel. Anything about her current assignment? No, sir, but she was married to Harry Creeksfield from 1959 to 1963. Car 763 to Central. This is Central. Go ahead, 763. This is 763 en route to Kennedy Airport. The Translatin Terminal. Alert their security people to stop one Harry Creeksfield. Act with caution. He's armed and dangerous. We'll alert Kennedy security. Car 763K. <laughs> Lieutenant, over here. Any sign of our boy? He broke through the blockade they set up for him at the security checkpoint. Hey, there he is, at the boarding gate. I'll call the others. No time. He may take a hostage. See if he can get behind. Right, Lieutenant. Hey, Harry. Who? What? Get out of here, Kojak. <laughs> the drama, Harry. You've had enough for one night. I'm getting out of the country in that plane, Kojak. Not if I can stop you, Harry. You won't. Look, you're only good at point-blank range, Harry. I'm not gonna get that close. Then I'll take it. Take who? A hostage? Come on. You scared everyone away with your cap gun. I'm warning you, Kojak. Do it peacefully, Harry. You were never a gunman. Why the change? Why did you start to kill? You had a neat racket. Why did you change signals? Because it was a little racket. A couple of grand air, a few there. Never enough to pack it up and get out of this jungle. So you went for the big score. Stay back, Kojak. I got it. I struck it rich. And now you're not going to stop me, you or anyone else. I suppose not. Any guy who would shoot his own wife. Ex-wife. And she was a cop. But you loved her once. Not anymore. Give it up, Harry. I'll kill you too, Kojak. Freeze, Creeksfield. He's dead. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. I had no choice. You did right, kid. Any guy who shoots his wife, his girlfriend, and his best friend doesn't have much to live for.